Hey guys, we're back with our newest tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a Rihanna look. This is from the anti-diary videos that were released a little while ago. So it's the really dramatic eye and a really dark blue lip. And I hope you enjoy. I'm just starting with my base shadow as usual. I'm doing it all the way from my lash line to my brow bone. This is just going to help all the eyeshadows that I put on stay true to color and stay on longer. Next I'm going in with a pigment from MAC and I'm just doing it on the lid and I'm using windshield washer motions to apply it. Next I'm going in with a warm brown in the crease and I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm going back and forth. And I'm just applying it and layering it in stages so it's easier to just keep adding and adding as opposed to doing too much product all at once. Next I'm going in with a darker chocolatey brown in the crease. I'm just doing it below the warm brown. And again, back and forth windshield wiper motions. And then I'm just blending that through. Next I'm going in with a black liner. So I did a tight line on the top lash line and I'm doing the black on the waterline on the bottom as well. You might want to use something waterproof just so it doesn't smudge. Then I'm just going in with a soft brown color again and I'm just winging out the eyeshadow. It's just gonna create more of like a cat eye. Just using my highlighter pen to highlight under the brow bone. I don't want it to be a shiny or shimmery highlight, but this is just going to give it a little bit more of a lift. So now I'm going in to just extend the shape of the eyeshadow and just pulling it out and upwards just to create a little bit more of a cat eye. Next I'm going in with my concealer with a beauty blender and just concealing wherever needed. I'm going in with one that's a tiny bit lighter just to highlight under the eyes. You can also use the sponge to just create the shape on the outer corner. Just kind of clean it up. Just want to set your concealer with a little bit of powder. I'm using a translucent one. Grab your warm brown color and just apply it on the lower lash line with a pencil brush. You just want to really smudge that right into the lashes.
And I'm just going with a fluffy brush again and just blending everything and making sure everything's all seamless. Now I'm just going in to do a once over with my blending to ensure that all my colors are married together nicely. Next I'm going in with a gel liner and just doing a little bit of a winged liner. It's not like a crazy cat eye but it is winged out a little bit at the end and you just want to build it up slowly I like to use a brush to do this because I think you have a little bit more control it's hard to do it straight from the tube like if you're using a liquid I find And I'm just doing some mascara, top and bottom lashes. And we're gonna throw some falsies on with this look as well. So when I apply my falsies, I like to use tweezers. Be really careful when you do this. I just like them because you can kind of squeeze your lash and the false ones together. And it just gets me more of a seamless, seamless application, I find but be very careful. Next brows, I'm using a pencil to start and then I go in with a darker powder just to kind of really get those eyebrows you know this has a, this look has a strong look a strong brow so if you go in with two products it'll just give you a little bit more dimension then i just went underneath with a little bit of that darker shadow on the outer part of the lash line just to define a little bit more. I'm just going in with some mascara on the bottom lashes. Next we go in with the blue lips and I literally just did one product. This is a liquid lipstick so you can apply it right from the tube. Just take your time because they're not the easiest to apply. So you might want to apply it like you're applying a lip liner and then kind of fill the lip in. And because this is such an intense color you want to get it as perfect as possible. That one's nice because it dries matte and it stays on quite a while. Then you want to just go around the lip with some concealer. That'll just clean up any edges. And I went in with a little bit of contour and then bronzer on top. There was no blush for this look. So I want to keep it really sculpted and kind of dramatic. Then I went in with a little bit of highlight. I actually just used a gloss for this, a clear gloss. You just want to do a C shape about, like on the highest po point of your cheekbone and a little above the brow. A little bit of bronzer just to warm everything up. And sculpt.
the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was really fun to do. And don't forget to follow us on our social media. I'm at Makeup ID on Instagram and Snapchat. And Zanana is Zanana Split on all her handles. Thank you so much. Hey guys, we're back with our newest video. Today I'm going to be doing a grunge look for you. It's kind of like a lived in, a little bit more messy, glossy eyed look. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it.